Hi, Scorpio. So I am going to be doing your reading. Um, right now, the tornado drill is going off or the tornado warning. So there might be something that your attention needs. We got Chica here tonight. She is going to be hosting this reading. Say hi, Chic Chic. <laughs> so Chica's hosting the reading. I'm going to start out with the What's Brewing deck, dear Scorpio. You might be nervous at this time or trying to um, struggle with your thoughts. And it's going to be okay. You are feeling insecure. That is for sure. That flips out. That's the first thing. Be strong. Be strong. We've got trash. Throwing away or getting rid of. Tossing out. Um, were you at a bonfire? Or are you actually getting rid of paperwork and decluttering? Getting rid of what no longer serves you? Um, are you making decisions in your life? That are leading to what you think and feel is your purpose. We've got writing it out. Yeah, you're most definitely writing out a storm. It could be a literal storm or with people or with emotions. Let's get some cards out here for Scorpio, please. Spirit. Scorpio. Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Ah, we got coming in after you. So, somebody is coming in after you, a knight. Knights are about acts of service, Scorpio. But maybe this person that's coming in after you is bugging you, or is something bugging you. Sex shop. Are you a sex worker, or um, are you online watching sexual things? Game over. I feel like you've had your heart broken. Um, sorry. I feel like you've had your heart broken. Something is really getting to you, or somebody's heart is broken over you. Let's get into the stargazing, Oracle. Go get some runes out. It's thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Lightning in the thunder. In the tornado possibility. Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Lightning in the thunder. Okay, we've got Libra energy coming out. So are you trying to find balance in a situation? Also, Libra is about art, beauty, and love. You could be a very, very affectionate, loving individual. Something about the color pink. I'm hearing rosé, love, balance, indecisive, sweet. Something needs to be p peaceful. We've got perfumes here. There also could be something legal going on, I see, with the scales. Does somebody like wearing the flower wreath headbands? Or are you a floral arrange? I don't know what they're called. A florist? We arrange. Let's get some more cards out here. We've got Saturn return. So you're paying your dues. Something is a wake up call for you, Scorpio. Saturn's about uh, karmic energy. Maybe you're clearing up karmic energy from the past. You're facing the truth. You're realizing you're getting older. And that's okay. More messages for Scorpio, please. Messages of love. Messages of love. Okay. We've got the moon in reverse. So this is happening right now. This is about failings. Fa failings. I almost said that. So maybe you feel like you failed at something. Are you missing the beach or are you seeing owls? Our Libra full moon is on the 6th of April. This is about the past and dreams and comfort. One more for Scorpio, please. One more on career. Ah, we've got air element. So maybe you are dealing with an air sign or you have heavy air placements. I'm seeing a tattoo that somebody has that has triangular shapes in it. This is about communication, thoughts, news and gossip, being in the clouds and head over heart decisions, aloofness, motion. What's hidden? Taurus energy. That's about earth energy. That's about materials and housing. Let's get some runes out for you. Dear Scorpio, and then we'll get into the Kipper and see what's coming towards you. I'm hearing that song. I want to know, have you ever seen rain? Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the singer. We've got runes of Tiwaz, which is a god tier. It symbolizes masculinity, masculinity and leadership. Maybe you are taking a masculine role you're stepping up to something 
Um, you, tree, this is about balance, enlightenment. This is death, the world tree. Remember, we're all connected to the earth. And you are finding out that you are here and now. You're getting some kind of enlightenment. What's hidden? Issa. So something has been stagnant, but it's it's opening up. Introspection. Issa is kind of my least favorite rune because it's all about freezing. But when you freeze, you don't a pause to do nothing. You um, try to make adjustments or work on yourself or um, um, hone in on necessary things that need worked out. That could be with work, people. Let's get some more um, cards out for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. What's coming towards Scorpio? We've got Long Road. Um, you might be seeing 555. Five, five. You might be seeing 333. Three, three. This is about patience, slow growth and development. You are having expectations on what is growing and developing right now. This You might be looking out a window. You might be wondering and waiting. And this is just delays and hangups. This is contemplation too. Maybe over a span of two years. There's half truths in this situation. You could be trying to figure out. All right, Scorpio. We've got a wealthy woman here. So I'm feeling like somebody is looking at a wealthy woman. Okay, as a very sexual individual too. I feel... So I'm getting two stories here, Scorpio. You are... A very sexual individual for one and you might have someone that you want to sleep with here give me one more on the wealthy woman and the playmate please okay so all right so this is either somebody's married to this wealthy woman that's the main female and they are not sleeping with each other right now or somebody is with somebody in a relationship, a main female, and they are sleeping with somebody else. And they are, if, if they're not, then somebody feels like they're getting half truths because we've got the despair card under the deck. Okay. Let's get some animal oracle cards out for you, Scorpio. Oh, we've got one fall under the table. So something's hidden. I'm not going to take that. Oh, my gosh. Knock all the bitches off the table. Oh, my gosh. You got a lot to say. Okay, so there's a golden egg, a cosmic egg. You got two eggs here. So you might have two children. You might have been pregnant twice. You've got a bee here. So you've been really busy. But let's read cosmic egg and golden egg for starters. Wow. This is really um, beautiful, intense, and um, enlightening energy. You must be going through some kind of awakening, Scorpio. Cosmic Egg. This is about completion, harmony, the infinite within the finite. The Cosmic Egg is the final card in the journey of the Animal Spirit Deck. And it represents the unfolding of cosmic conscious. This state emerges after we had tread the path for quite some time. And through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us. And the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we never get there or we travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a moment, momentary glimmer of or flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is a remedy. Sorry, my dog's getting worried. For the fragmentation of modern life, it's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. The cosmic egg in the seventh chakra. This is about your crown chakra opening too. You, you are seeing something. You are seeing something really powerful, Scorpio. Wow. 